Well, my name is Trajo Harrell, and um, I'm here working on 20 Looks of Paris is Burning at the Jetson Church Extra Small at Cafe Pequeño um, as part of the Panorama Festival here in Rio de Janeiro, and this theater is in Le Boulon. Can you talk about a little bit on your work here at the festival and the series of performances that you have here? It's, it's a series of five performances, and here you have XS and S. Yeah. Um, they're part of a series called 20 Looks or Paris is Burning at the Jetson Church, um, which is part of a research that I've been doing for many years, beginning in 2001, so I guess about 11 years now. Um, basically looking at the, the relationship between the voguing dance tradition and the early postmodern dance tradition in the United States. and um, This series kinds of takes on a kind of imaginary historical proposition. The idea being what would have happened in 1963 if someone from the voguing dance tradition in Harlem had come downtown to Judson Church in Greenwich Village to perform alongside the early postmoderns. And so each size, being the extra small and the small, were the first ones I made, kind of um, take an attempt at answering this question, not in a, a didactic or a kind of historical recreation way, but in a kind of imaginative proposition of what would have happened, you know, if these two different artistic movements and aesthetics had come together. And how does how did this team of 1963 come up to you? Came up to you? Well, I I mean it's a very long uh, um, kind of story. But basically, I had gone to a vo I I studied postmodern dance, and then I went to a voguing ball, and I was kind of very strongly captivated by what I saw. And I found that what I saw was was in a way much more postmodern than a lot of the stuff that I was seeing in the theaters. And so I began to do a little research, and, one of, and obviously, if you know anything, Vogue, one of the biggest sources for a lot of people for information is a famous film um, by a filmmaker named Jenny Livingston called Paris is Burning. Um, and it's very clear that in the 60s, the Vogue balls were going on at the same time that the Judson Church movement was going on in postmodern dance. But the two never came together, although if you look at them, there's a way in which they most both were reflecting in a way a certain ideas and questioning certain ideals that were going on in the 1960s in the United States. And so because of the differences in terms of social status and racial status and geographical status, um, those two, perhaps those two um, artistic movements, I, I mean, I don't know if we can call voguing an artistic movement, but those traditions, let's say, did not come together. And so... Um, I thought it would be interesting, in a way, if my work held this possibility. Because my, I'm, I, it's not so much that um, people now, my work is sure, because I've been working on voguing and postmodern dance for a long time. Um, I, I'm somewhat identified with this, but the, I think the real, my real work, the thing that, that, that my work is most interested in is history and historical impossibilities. And I kind of work in the gaps and holes and fissures of history. So um, this was an exciting one because it was, um, yeah, the 60s were a very interesting period. And, and a lot of people knew, especially in the 90s and in the early 2000s, the postmodern dance had a kind of revival. Although it happened in the 60s and the 90s and the 2000s, people were looking to this history again. And I thought it was, it was a bit, um, but no one was talking about what was happening in Vogue. And so, Again, like I try to go in and work in these spaces where there are omissions and gaps in history. Okay, so being a choreographer and also a dancer, uh, you haven't already any other projects for the future, or you're just staying with this series a little bit longer? No, I finished the series. Um, I just had the last size just premiered in October in New York, and now I will go on to. I'm doing a lot of research in Japan and looking at it looking at a different kind of history, again, looking at a history, a history of Bouteau, but also looking at the history of, a, of another movement, a Nouvelle Danse in France in the 80s. So, I, I'm, yeah, I'm moving on to, I've to a different project, and I will also do a project in Brazil in 2014. Okay, that's really nice, and hope to see you again here at Festival Panorama. Thank you very much for your time.